The program you will see today is raw and hard and straight to the point. The Lifers Group felt they would shortchange you if they did it in any other way. We first spoke to Maxwell Melvin, president of the Lifers Group, about how a rap record was done in prison. I was trying to do a fundraiser. I was trying to raise some money for the group. And uh, I had a uh, contact with Red Alert Productions. Uh, mm -hmm. David Klein, Funkin' Klein, was uh, with, with them at the time. He stressed to me that he was uh, going out with Hollywood Basics. He was going to be the rap director. So I basically asked him, uh, I told him I had some brothers in here who can rap. And, uh, you know, I went to all the brothers and I uh, asked them if they could define to me what everyday prison life is for. Mm -hmm. We done some demos. I sent it out to Hollywood Basic. They listened to it. They got the support from their superiors. And uh, all of them were pretty much familiar with the program and what we were trying to do as well. And uh, from there, we brought in a couple producers from Denmark, Solid Productions, and, uh, you know, the rest is history. When I first went to everybody, uh, they was kind of, they thought the idea was pretty much crazy, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of my members are pretty much a lot of the older guys. And uh, rap music, when I went to them about rap music, a lot of them went for it. They weren't supportive of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, eventually, I was able to convince them after letting them hear some of it, the lyrics the brothers had laid down. And so everybody, like, came together, and uh, we put it together. You know, um, I was mentioning to you earlier that almost 20 years ago, um, there was a group that came out of Broadway that was called the uh, the Escorts. They were a singing group. And uh, and I kind of looked at this, and I looked at their project and tried to find parallels. Um, I don't think they had a lifers group back then. Um, why don't you explain what the lifers group is all about? Well, originally, when the lifers group first began, it was a group of uh, individuals uh, serving life sentences on, in excess of 25 years. And uh, it was a means and vehicle to, to a better relationship with the administrators, parole board, for better living conditions. Uh, 1976, uh, one of the brothers noticed that uh, a group of kids were being brought in here by the administrators. And at the time, the brothers was experiencing problems with their own juvenile, with their own kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the concept came up with the juvenile awareness program. It's not really called Scare Straight. That was just a documentary. It's called the juvenile awareness program, in which to make them aware that they have one foot in the door one foot out the door. Life was true, warn me about prison. You know what? I should have listened. 